morning, good morning, everybody. This is a video for a Husqvarna 564 XP fuel injected saw. And you might be wondering why I have a steel 400 saw sitting on my table. Well, that's because this is the closest comparison to what the 564 XP is, is a 400 from steel. So let me read you guys off the specs, show you the difference. I've got some updates as far as when uh, the new product's gonna be released, price point, bar size, all that good stuff. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with the video of Husqvarna's website that shows how the 564 XP functions. It's got some demonstrations on there as well as some spec information. So let's check out the video and I'll show you guys the new saw. So as you can see, this is a pretty sweet saw. So I just got an email a week ago saying that Husqvarna was gonna release this saw in the United States. First quarter to first half of 2026, it's already available in Europe. So I haven't seen one here yet personally. That's why I've got this guy on the table for demonstration purposes and to explain a little bit about the saw to you. But I should have one in my hand probably in the next six to nine months. So I know it's a ways out there, but as soon as I get one in hand, I will be the first one to show you guys what the saw looks like. So let's do a little bit of breakdown on the 564 XP from Husqvarna. So details released, 62.4 cc's, 5.4 horsepower. Compare that to this 400 saw, this guy's got 66.8 cc's, 5.4 horsepower. So same horsepower. If you want to compare it to the 500i, the 500i's got 79.2 cc's, 6.7 horsepower. So the 500i is still a bigger saw, but just keep in mind, we're not comparing that saw, we're comparing the 400 as far as the specs go. So you got a weight, uh, power head, 12.8 pounds on that. And if you look at the 400, 12.8 pound power head. So exactly the same. So one of the biggest differences, you're gonna have the outboard clutch on the Husqvarna, you're gonna have the inboard clutch on the steel. So if you're not familiar with that, <clears throat> the way the clutch is set on a steel, the clutch drum goes into the saw, where Husqvarna's, it comes out from the saw. You have the clutch that you have to remove to change the sprocket. The sprocket on the steels is inside, you take that off, then you expose the clutch. So that's the, the main difference on those. Um, the Husqvarna saw price point, is $1,099.99. So I believe that was with the 18 inch bar. Uh, the website says it'll go up to a 28 inch bar. The steel equivalent, the 400, this is gonna max out at a 25 inch bar. 
So I would assume that uh, the optimal performance on the 564 XP is probably gonna be a 20 or 25 inch bar. 28 is probably gonna be pushing it. So a lot of that'll depend on what you're cutting and what chain setup you're using on that saw. So just keep that in mind as well. So Husqvarna also has a lot of specs and the information about the saw listed on their website. I took some screenshots here to show you guys instead of me rambling off a bunch of numbers. So let's go through the slideshow really quick. You can see the specs, you can see the fuel capacity, the vibration, all that good stuff. So let's jump right into that. Here it is. So I'm really excited about the 564 XP coming on board in the shop here. So there's two versions, you've got the XP and the XPG. Those of you who are unfamiliar with the XPG, the G is basically for the heated handle system on there. So you guys that like to cut in the winter time, that can be a nice option that you guys can get on this saw as well. And for those of you paying attention, the 400 is gonna be discontinued, the 362 is gonna be discontinued, they're gonna be rolled together in the 400.1. So I've got another video on that. Make sure you guys check out that video if you wanna learn more information about the 400 saw and how it's gonna evolve into something else. For those of you guys that are Husqvarna fans, 564 XP is coming out next year, United States, price point, 1099. So that's 18 inch bar. Make sure you guys tune in the channel. As soon as I get one, I'm gonna do some demonstrations and show you what that saw looks like. So thanks for tuning in the video. I've got lots of the great content on my channel. So if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the content. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and have a great rest of your day.